सदा विजेते राम रमेशम भजे रामेणाभिहता निशाचर चमू रामाय तस्म नम रायण परतर राम से दासोस्म्यहम रामे चित्तल सदा भूत मे भो राम मुद्धर राम रामे रामे रमे रामे मनोरमे सहस्रनाम तत्ल्यम राम नाम वरान श्री राम नाम वरान नम Okay, welcome back, everybody. We are on the Ramayana. Uh, as I mentioned to you before, I'd like to mention again is that one of the easiest way to learn this language is to read these Gita press books. They are very wonderful. You know, the Bhagavad Gita is, of course, I think all of you know. Then the Ramayana, and then also the Shrimad Bhagavatam. They did a great job of translating into English all of these. But if, so even if you don't know any grammar, if you don't know anything, also just keep on reading and understanding whatever you can, and uh, you know it'll it'll really give you a lot of knowledge. So, and then what you do is that at every pass that you read, you come back and read again, read again, and you can get more and more in every every reading. So it'll you and slowly you'll get a good feel of the language, and then then you'll be hungry for the grammar because you will have read it so much you want to know the rules. The rules also stick with you longer. Okay, so let us. I think we finished the uh, last time we finished number fifteen, and I also have these commentaries here with me. Um, last time we were looking at this this compound Sarva Shastra Tatvajnya. In number fifteen, we looked at that Sarva Shastra Tatvajnya. I was trying to figure out what the Vigraha Vakyam of that was. So again, these are all adjectives for Sri Rama. So, so the Rama, so the the grammar is not that much intensive right now because all these are becoming adjectives only for Sri Rama. So we have not really because they're all mostly masculine, normally singular forms. It's only like you know, Sadguna Suchi. It's the list of qualities of Sri Rama. So Sarva Shastra Tattva, Sarva Shastra Tattva, Vit Tattva Jnya. So, Sarva Shastra clearly is Karma Dharya, is all the Shastras, all the sciences. Artha is the meaning. Then Artha Tattva Jnaha is that we were discussing last time. Is what Jnaha is, you know, Jana Tita Jnaha. So, Sarva Shastra Tattva Tattva Ni Jana Tita Jnaha. So, Sarva Shastra Tattva Jnaha. Now, but between Artha Tattva, what we had to do was the question we were talking about last time. And I looked at a few of the commentaries, and one of them says is that it says, uh, "Artha tattam is artha yathapyam." Yathapyam is a proper meaning. Artha tattam is a proper meaning. So tattam is yatha yath yath yathapyam, and nigud ashayam ityartha. So one more thing about the commentaries: don't get scared by them, because even though they might be like large volumes and they might be in only Sanskritam, but you don't have these only reference books, you know. If you if you want to look at one specific word, for example, right now we're looking only at a single compound, shastra, shastra, artha, tattvajnya. If you just go to that word and see what they have to say, <coughs> it'll be no more than a line or two at the most. So even though it might look like seven big volumes, it, you have to only go to that one line and see what what they have to say. So this I think is Govinda Raja, and he says, he says. First of all, they all give the same meaning for the Sarva Shastra, which is, you know, the the uh, for example, this one says Sarva Shastra, Sarvani Shastraani, and then he gives all of them, you know, the Dharma Shastram, um, Puranam, Vedanta, Upabrahmanam, Nyasa, Mimamsa, then Sarva Veda, all of that he gives. In Tesham Artha Artha Tattvam. Is artha yathapyam with the proper meaning of all of them, nigura ashayam. So that's what Gita Press has given down here. When they, when we did that number 15, they had given. He knows the real meaning. That real meaning is the artha yathapyam, the inside meaning. So that's what they had given. Now, so that's how we know where they where they got the meaning from. So if you want to, it's also a good way to learn compounds. By the way, those of you want to learn to learn compounds. You go to the commentary and look at the Vigraha Vakyam, which which is given by the commentator for the compounds. Is the best way to learn compounds is that way. And then once you get once you learn to think like the commentator, you can also do the same thing yourself. 
So you can you can look at what vigra vacuum what vigra vacuum that that he is giving. So in fact, I look at maybe another one. He says. Uh, Sankhya Yoga Tarka Purotra Mimam Sa Sutrani, and then he says, Sa Vyakshanani Shastrani. Then Smutayaha Upasmutayascha, so he gives all the Shastras he gives. Sarve Sham E Sham, Arsa Tattvajnyaha says, uh, no commentary on that. So for him, it was not important to comment on that. The Arsa Tattva, he didn't comment on that. So maybe it's obvious for him. So anyway, so these are the commentaries that we can look at. And also I mentioned to you that anything which is worthwhile reading has a good commentary on it. Unfortunately, they're becoming extinct nowadays. But something like Gita has hundreds of commentaries on that. Ramayana also has many, many commentaries, you know. So all these texts, so in the beginning, try to read only stuff with commentaries on that. That way you're not completely lost. You have, you have like a teacher with you. Not only one teacher, but like two, three, four teachers with you. And once you get the hang of the commentaries, you can then learn, read even very difficult text also you can read, including the Vedas. Vedas also you can read with the commentary, which is almost impossible otherwise for us to do. Okay, so let's continue. Let's do the, we are number, I'm sorry, number 16 I think we are on, okay. Sarvada abhigata sadhvi samudra iva sanjavi arya sarva samashchaiva sadaiva priya darshanaha. One more time. First thing you want to do is that you want to read it loudly, clearly, you know, slowly also. Sarvada vikata sadbhe samudra iva sindhubhe arya sarva samashchaiva sadaiva priya darshanaha. Even if you keep on doing only this much, just keep on reading, 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 you will still get the whole language without even translation. One more trick you can do, by the way, you can, one more trick you can do is that if you want to make it easy for you, you can read the translation first. It's okay, you know, for the time you're only, only practicing, you only practice. He's always sought by the righteous, even as the ocean is by the rivers. So even, I think, I think many of you will know the word ocean is samudraha. So that's easy words. Even if you take these 10%, what you can get 5%, it's, it's, you can start building your vocabulary. <coughs> He is noble, alike to all, and always wears a pleasing countenance. So now you can keep that in mind as we look at the shloka. And the reason why I like these translations is because they're very, they are very faithful. Some of the translations are kind of a little bit loose, you know, but this one is, is very good one. That's why I recommend that. Um, okay, let's try to do the padachedana if, if we can. Who can do Padachera? I think Ravi can do it for her. Let me, let me take Ravi. I'm sure. Oh, Vasudha wants to do Padachera. Okay, very good. Okay, Vasudha. Vasudha? Namaste, Sadish Ji. Padachera Kriyata? Padachera Kriyata? Yeah. Sarvada Abhigataha Sadbihi Samudraha Eva Sindhubihi Aryaha Sarva Samaha you want to quickly go to sutras for this, 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 for Adgunaha. Na cha plus eva vruddhi rechi. Eva vruddhi rechi vruddhi rechi. Then sohus chuna siho sarva samas cha samas cha eva. So sasaju shoruhu. Sasaju shoruhu na. Sarva samaha sasaju shoruhu anantaram sohus chuna siho. No anant anantaram anantaram karavasana visajaniha karavasana visajaniha. Okay. So, Tadanantaram Visajaniyasya Saha. Tadanantaram Soshunashtu. Ah, Tadanantaram. Okay. So, um, okay. Sadaiva. Okay. okay. And how about Samudraha Iva? What's the sutra there? Okay. Samudraha Iva. Samudraha Iva. Samudro Iva. Lopaha Sakal Yasya? Sapatamata Sajushoruhu. Sapatamata Sajushoruhu. Sasajushoruhu. 
Tat Paribadikam. So this is a Paribadikam without going through all the grammar. This is the Dhatu Us in this Us movie, Us in the sense of to be. So Sad means being, being. But now this has taken an extended meaning, means good being. See, some of these uh, participles take an extended meaning from usage. So we say the in English word saints, you know, that's just this is the same Paribadikam in English. When they say the word saints, it means Santaha. Santaha means those who are being. It means that they are they are being they they are uh, good beings. So so sadhi is is an adjective. It should qualify somebody. It can be either neuter or it can be masculine. It, if we're in feminine, it would be satibhi. Satibhi is would be feminine. So this cannot be feminine. So sadhi, you know, there's nothing here in the in the shloka has you can supply janaihi. It's not understood. Such janaihi is understood. So sadhi equals such janaihi. Means he's always approached by by the by the good minded people. So such janaihi abhigata. You can also say bhaktaihi abhigata. Approached by his devotees, maybe approached by the good people. So you have to the word jana is so understood you don't have to be stated there. It's, it's very obvious. Approached by the good. Means by the good people. So we can say sadhi Sadhi equals Sajjanaihi. Uh, Sajjanaihi. Okay? So that is the good. And that completes the, the passive form there in, the, in that. Because it says Sadhi Abhigataha Sarvada. So he was always approached by the good, good souls. And now comes the Iva. The Iva is a simile marker. Uh, you, can, you can also say something have Yatha. But Iva is one of them. And it always comes one word later than in English. See, all these connectors in this language, they come one word later than you expect in English. What we say in English, he was always approached by the good souls, just like the rivers, just like the ocean is approached by the rivers. So, so what you hear, you say samudraha eva, not eva samudraha, samudraha eva. So this simile starts from over here. Um, so you, this is where you cut it off, and the simile, this is the simile part not to put this one word back always. So all look at the next sentence. The search. So the search the church should have come on, come here. So even this this samudraha eva. So the eva should have come here. So all these connectors, the tu, the wa, the ch all this comes a little bit one word normally it, it comes one word later. It can come one phrase later sometimes. You know, if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's like if it's like a adjective noun combination, there it can come after the whole phrase. Um, okay. Now samudraha eva. Right. So samudraha is Ravi. That will be prasama ekavacham, right? So Ramavat. Ramavat. Uh, what's your other question? Let me talk. Hanji. Oh. Yeah. Uh, is kriya padam assumed here implied? Yes. Kriyapadam, you see, when there's no Kriyapadam, you have to supply the appropriate form of as or bu or rut. So, sarvadaha sadhi abhigataha asit abhavat. You know, so you have to supply that, yes. Correct, you have to supply that. Thank you. So, uh, but you cannot supply anything generally. You can, when you supply something, you have to either take something coming from the prior sutram, uh, sorry, prior shloka, I should say, or something from the context. Are only us or who are synonyms of those only. So you have, here we can you can just say asita or babhuva. Okay, and now this, the the one thing called upama and upameya is always match the vibhaktis. Should always do a vibhakti match. That way you're not confused. Who is being compared to whom? So samudraha is ekavachanam, and the abhigataha ramaha. And one more thing is that this abhigataha will not be repeated on both sides. So the Visheshnam or Kriya Padam will not be repeated on both sides. So Abhikataha connects this side also. So Yatha Samudraha Sindhubhi Abhikataha Tathaiva Ramaha Sadbhi Sarvada. Even in fact this whole thing, this Sarvada Abhikataha, these both these terms, they are to be taken on this side also. So they all these are common terms. So they will not be repeated. Um, now match the vibhakti is that the samudraha is prathama ekavachanam. So, so samudraha is being compared to ramaha. And sadhvi is, is a tritya bhavachanam compared to sindhvi. Sindhvi. Okay. Now the, the gender need not match. The gender need not match. Sometimes even the number need not match. But the vibhakti will match. Otherwise you will not know who is being compared to whom. 
so that's that is the way you know that what is a um, what is the um, what is the comparison because sometimes we have complicated comparison like you know she does this with that like you know someone else does something with something else so all the vibhakti should be matched so sadhvi is being compared to sindhvi in fact i think in this case this is the sadhvi we already made it as a masculine you know tritya bhavachanam while the sindhu i'm pretty sure is, is a feminine term so right here we have an example with where the genders don't match that's okay they don't have to match because you can give a simile with different genders you know so so let me let me just confirm that the word sindhu is um sindhu sindhu give me one second i think it's it's a neuter which is it's uh, it means nadi so it's most likely going to be a a neuter it's a, it's going to be a feminine term okay so so that's what that is what is that so sindhu means nadi bhi sindhu bhi so he is always approached by the good people i think the other comparison is that the that the rivers you know flow incessantly towards the ocean so just like that you know she was continuously being uh, being uh, uh, resorted to by the good good souls um actually sindhu may not be feminine okay sindhu means ocean is sindhu can mean the ocean also is what was up to the gives river um okay so maybe it maybe it doesn't have to be feminine but okay so but still match the vibhakti on both sides now next comes arya arya no, is again ramavat ram prathama ek vachanam this is an interesting word by the way arya arya is 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 a potential participle what they call what pani called kritya pratyaha kritya pratyaha means is fit to do something so it means that uh, dhatu is ru dhatu is ru we won't go into all the rules today because uh, not pani ni class but from ru we get we get the form get the form arya and that is it means artum yogya artum yogya is arya one who is fit to be resorted to artum yogya dhatu ru is is in is gamanarthe so he is so uh, artum yogya it's, it's a passive form so who's fit to be gone to now i could be wrong on the but i think this in this south india is when they say ayer all the ayers of south india i think they might be this aryas actually so I, I, i don't my tamil is not very good at all but but i think this that might be because this arya seems to make most lot of sense as ayers so i don't know how many ayers know that but that's different thing but uh, anyway so arya is is a potential participle from dhatu ru is artum yogya arya one who is fit to be gone to for advice or help or whatever so arya is a passive form how about the next one uh, ravi sarva samaha okay so that's going to be also going to be a prathama ek vachanam yes. again right now we not doing much vyakaranam because they're all like a list of of you know adjectives for rama only what kind of compound is this ravi what do you think oh. bahuvrihi no no because see bahuvri has said to you the the second member noun in bahuvri ravi has to be an, a noun okay. most of the time so the samaha is an adjective already if you have an adjective with a second member most likely not bahuvri not bahu because bahuvri in a way in a way converts nouns to adjectives you know so so that is that will now what is what what else can it be in english can you think sarva as sarva means all samaha is like um it was equanimity you know equan equanimous i think is the right word i think um what could it be so one who is equanimous in all situations right so sarveshu avasareshu janeshu to janeshu vasuda you have to get the headphone and the mic headphone and the mic we won't have the echo we won't have the echo Okay, I'll mute myself then. Okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. In fact, you can, you can, you can talk to us on the chat. I can, but yeah. So Vasudha, you had the right answer. Satmi Tat Purusha is is the right answer. Is that Sarveshu? You can say, you know, Sukhadukha Avasareshu. So even in all kinds, in all kinds of situations, or towards all people, towards everyone, he was equal. So Sarveshu Samaha, and Vasudha is the right answer. Satmi Tat Purusha. okay 
and chur eva is just you know join you know so sometimes this chur and eva don't have much extra meaning uh this cha hi tu vai you know this cha hi tu vai they can be used for pada purana artham like sometimes sometimes they have meanings but sometimes they may not have meanings also and then sada eva again sada is also in avya just like sarvada also the word sada also in avya means this is the same meaning sarvada means at, at all times eva priya darshana this is the prathama ekavachanam ramavat ramavat so now what is the uh, vigra vakyam here yasya darshanam priya so priyam darshanam yasya sah so priyam darshanam yasya sah okay. so priyam has to be adjective and darshanam yasya so this is bahuvrihi because if you are making darshanam as a neuter noun the fact that there has been a linga parivartanam there is a linga parivartanam as occurred this has to be bahuvrihi so that is a that is a if you, if you see a gender change a noun changing gender but you have to be sure of that by the way So darshanam, as a if you have a neutral noun called darshanam, darshanam could could also have been an adjective like like Ramana Maharshi, Ramana ha, Madhusudan ha. So those could have been, but that's not what we have here because the meaning will not make proper sense. So if you know that this is a noun which has changed gender at the end like that, it has to be bahuvrihi. There is really no other. There is no other way out. There is no other way out. Like we see in Gita, Sita Pradnyasya ka bhasha. समाधिस्थ लेट मी गिव कपल ऑफ क्विक गीता एग्जांपल्स फॉर यू अ हाउ अबाउट सिक्स श्लोक सिक्स अध्याय एम सॉरी प्रथम श्लोक अनाशित कर्म फलं कार्यं कर्म करोति यः स सन्यासी च योगी च निरग्न न चाक्रियः देन लुक एट दैट लास्ट वन द चाक्रियः सी दैट चाक्रियः इज अक्रियः द क्रिया इज 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 अ फेमिनाइन नाउन हाउ इट बिकम अक्रियः so <coughs> so that has taken a gender change there because that word kriya is a sitavat patibodikam latavat you can never become kriya but here it has a kriya so it is bahuvrihi avidyamana ha kriya ha yasya saha monus without rituals is a kriya so that is also and again the second adhyay sita prajna saka sita prajna sita prajna could become sita prajna yasya saha so when you see the gender change then you can tell us bahuvrihi so priyam darshanam yasya saha and also you can go to the commentaries and also can let's see what the commentaries have to say um priyam darshanam this is number 16 right so priyam darshanam yasya saha sarvada vagatah tasse arya sarvapujya atatkalam priyam darshanam okay vismaya darshanah okay se sada eva Because sarva sarva avastha su, he said in all situations, mohur mohur anubhave api, even though he has been seen all the time. Ananu bhuta puro vad vismiya visma vismaya niya darshana ha. He says sadai varat, so he is always looking like like you know wonderful. So even though you see him again and again, he still looks wonderful. That's what. So again, but he is not given a vigra vakya. It is a pretty simple. Vigraha Vakyam, uh, but actually the second, see that I am looking at three commentaries here, and the second one is more detailed. He does give Priyam Darshanam Yasya Saha. So some commentaries will be more detailed, some will be less detailed. But this one clearly, see if you have a doubt, always look at the commentary. He gives Priyam Darshanam Yasya Saha, and if he doesn't give you anything, it's something simple that you should try on your own. Okay, okay. So let's see. I, I think we have our comment, our translator Balram Ji is here. Let's let's put him on the job. and let's look at the translation okay balram ji you there ha uh, namaste ji okay so let us see i know i think i may have to stack this thing okay uh he is always sort what you got to do here ha uh ha -huh. abhigata abhigata is sort sarvada abhigata so always is sarva i think you right you have a knack for this thing but you should keep on reading books like this <laughs> <laughs> you should this is going to be your track i think you get this thing <laughs> ramayanam you know because valmiki says also in ramayanam you know says vaagrishabat vaagrishabatam yati so vaagrishabatam you see gets he becomes a master of speech reading my ramayanam this is a guarantee for you also uh okay anyway so sarvada abhigata is that he is a it is always a sarvada 
and you see this, this is the question Vasu was asking, he is, that is is just supplied there, uh -huh. so then sort is uh, abhigata, I mean, abhigata. Approach, approach, okay now by the righteous, uh, sadbihi, sadbihi, by the righteous, sadjanaihi, and then you can say even as, what is that? Uh, eva, eva, very good, and then uh, the ocean, Samudra, Samudra, then by the rivers, uh, Sindhu Bihi, uh, Sindhu Bihi, Sindhu Bihi, by the rivers, okay, then the next thing is that, um, he is noble, uh, Arya, Arya, and he says, nay, you know, let me, let me try to stack these, give me one second, I should have done this before, but let me try to see if I can stack these, because we are kind of, zooming back and forth. Yeah, I actually memorized it. Oh, yeah. Very <laughs> good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So maybe you're not, you're not only a Anuvada Karaha. You're, you're more than that. That's good. Uh, okay, let me try to stack this now so I can get it. Okay, let's see now. Uh, let me keep the English on the bottom thing. All right. And then let me try to keep. Okay, good. Let me try to do this one. Uh, I lost the other one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think they are top of each other. Yeah, sorry for for the time, but I didn't realize we we're going to have to go back and forth. Later. Okay, I think I got it now. All right. So now we were say. Okay, I think I got it now. Uh, what about he is noble is Arya? Huh? Arya. Huh? What about ne? Eva. Uh, I think ch. Oh, okay. This is the, the eva may not have any, the ch eva. So this is the Gita uh -huh. person, they always, when they see ch, they always put ne, I just remember ne, that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have much meaning, but, okay, alike to all. Sarva sama? Sarva samaha, because the all is sarva and samaha is alike. Alike. And always. Uh, e, sa, um, sada eva? Sada eva, sada is all, sada sada eva. Eva. and always. Where is a pleasing countenance? Priya darshana. Priya darshana. Priya is pleasing. Darshana yes. has it's countenance. So, so this you see how easy it is. Not that hard, you know. Even if you didn't know all the grammar or anything, we didn't do anything much. Here. But it does. What you don't realize might look very easy for you. But you can always increase the vocabulary, and you can always you know get more grammar. So even though you think you're not learning, what you are learning a lot because that's the good thing. What that's what is Valmiki's greatness, by the way. In a very easy way, he takes you higher and higher and higher. You don't even realize, you know, how high you're going, because you know you're getting more vocabulary, you know, getting more usages, and you eventually get more grammar also. Uh, what's the other question? Let me see. Did she type the question? Uh, let's see. Uh, is Vasudha? No, maybe she didn't type the question. Okay, maybe she didn't. Okay. All right. So let's do the let's do the next one now. I think this, these are not uh, yes. That Sarva Samush Chaiva and Ne, right? I think the significance there is that he is not good only to those who approach him. He is good to everybody. I think that is what they are trying to say. So though he is Sabhi approach, he go to him, he is yeah, equal he, but, to all. But, but he is noble to all, I guess. Okay. All right. So, so that could be. So maybe he is approached by the good people, but he is equal to all. Yes. Okay. Chaiva. Uh, but you know, if if there was a comparison, I would I would I would, I would have expected like a tathapi, you know. So there's so there's no uh, unfortunately this chayeva only means and could be. Chayeva, yeah. I, why did they put a ne there? I mean, is that so, is that so that just that's just a way of accounting for the ch. That's all they're doing. <laughs> I think that I ne is only accounting for the ch because I've read enough of these books. that is only accounting for the ch. So I don't think for yes. Yeah, and while I'm at it, Sudhaji typed a question as well. Sarvada equal to Sadaiva. Yeah, Sarvada and Sadaiva are the same same meaning, similar meaning. Sarvada and, and you know, uh, Sada Sada is they are both both you know uh, similar similar meaning. Sarvada and Sada are same meaning. So, yes, they are basically the same meaning. Uh, okay, now let's do the next one. So thank you, Balamji. We'll do the next one. Um, such a sarva guna petaha. Well, look at this sandhi we just did today, right? Etat tadoho sulopaha hali. So this is the same sandhi we had it today. 
So even Ramayana, we can do all the same document. You can use do all these sandhis on the same document and try to. Of course, there might be some more here, but at least 90% you can you can do it. Sacha sarvaguno petaha kausalyananda vardhanaha samudra iva gambhirye dhairyena himavan iva. One more time. Sacha sarvaguno petaha kausalyananda vardhanaha samudra Actually, samudra iva, samudra iva gambhirye, dhairyena himava niva. Okay. Um, let's see, who can do the padachyada for me? I think we almost did it. Uh, Anuji can do it. It's easy for us. Yes, Anuji. Yes, sir. It's easy. Yes. Want to do the padachyada for us? Oh, I, I can try. Um, um, Sacha, sarva, no, no, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be Saha Cha. Saha, Saha, yeah. Saha Cha. Um, sarva Guna Apeta? No, Guna Apeta, that's a compound. Oh, Guna Apeta. It is, it is Sarva mm -hmm. uh, Guna Upeta actually in the compound. Oh, Guna Upeta. But, but, but those, are, those, are, mm -hmm. those are opposite meanings, by the way. <laughs> Upeta means Yukta, while Apeta means divide of Apeta. Oh, okay. So, but, mm -hmm. but here's in the compound, sarva guna upetaha, in the compound, sarva guna upetaha. Okay. Next Kausal, one. Kausalya an, ananda, kausalya anan, ananta. The thing is, is this a compound or not? That's yeah. The See, because mm -hmm. when do you have a question whether it's a compound or not? When when is a kausalya. declined form and undeclined form yeah. the same? So okay. Kausalya is also Prathama Ekvachanam of, of, you know, Kausalya Shabda. Mm -hmm. Or it could be, you know, Samasantargatam Padam. It could be inside the Samasa. If you take Kausalya outside, mm -hmm. outside the compound, then she will become Prathama Ekvachanam. It will not fit in the sentence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why from the context only we know that this has to be a compound. Kausalya Nanda Vardhanaha. Otherwise, grammatically, there was a choice here. Kausalya mm -hmm. Prathama Ekvachanam. Then Ananda Vardhanaha could have been. Mm -hmm. Could have been Kausalya Nanda Vardhanaha also could have been. But from the meaning you know that this should be Kausalya Nanda Vardhanaha is Samastam Padam. It's one, one compound word. But you should keep all the options open in initially, okay? But, uh, and again, when do we have that choice? We only have that choice when something is declined and undeclined the same form. And Kausalya is, is one example like that. It also includes all Avya Shabdas. So all avyas, you don't know, they're in the compound or not, because avyas, you know, they lose their declensions. So now you don't know if it's part of a compound or not part of the compound. You decide from the context what what you have. Okay, next one. Uh, Samudraha iva. Samudraha iva. Gam. Gam birye. Birye. Gam birye. Okay. And then. Dairiena. Correct. Uh, himavan Iva. Himavan Iva. Himavan Iva. So you got two similes here. Iva and Iva. Iva and Iva. You try to vivakti for us, Anuji? Mm. Saha. So Saha is Saha. 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 So, so when when he comes on the stage, generally <laughs> everything qualifies him. So anyway, so saha, cha, now cha is abhyaya. Abhyaya. Sarva guno petaha again qualifying Rama. Next, same thing with the next one. Kausalya nanda vardhanaha also qualifying Rama. Samudraha is prathama ekvachanam pullingam. It's a noun. So the, these three were, were, this was a pronoun, saha is a pronoun, sarvaguna peta is a visheshanam, this one visheshanam. And this one is also a visheshanam, kausalyananda vardhanaha, like madhusudanaha, is a visheshanam. Okay, so these are all um, pronoun, uh, adjective, adjective. Samudraha is a noun, this, this is not qualified, there is nobody behind it. Oh. Iva is a namviya, no gamdhirye, what is that? Oh. Comes from Gambir, some. So, so yeah. Gambira Shya Bhava Gambir. Gambir, yeah. Uh -huh. So Gambira is one who is profound or deep, you know. So Gambira means a profundity or depth, you know. Uh, so 
very, very profound. So Gambhir, yeah. Now, what is the vakti of that? Gambhir, yeah. Like, you know, word like Saundaryam, Karpanyam, Klaibyam. These are all neuter nouns. So Gambhir, yeah, like Vane. Vane. Oh, okay. Gambhir, mm -hmm. yeah, is the Napumusakalingam, Saptati, Four. Ekavachanam. Now, same thing is Dhairyam. Dhirasya bhavaha dhairyam. So now, what is this uh, dhairyena? Like vanena. So dhairyena is this titiya ekavachanam, like vanen. Himavan, like bhagavan. Right? Uh, so himavan is also a, a uh, technically an adjective, but it's like a noun here because it's the Himalaya. So that is prathama ekavachanam pullingam. And iva is an avyaya. So you have two ivas, ivas. So he is samudraha iva gambhirya, himavan iva dhairyena. Okay, let's do, thank you Anuji. So we got that. Now who wants to take the compounds now for me now? Sarva guno petaha. What kind of compound is that? Um, let's see who can try this for me now. Uh, person. Anybody wants to volunteer? Uh, uh, at least in English you can try. Okay, Karthik can do it. I know Karthik can do it. Let's see, maybe Prasannaji, let me try Prasannaji. Can she try? Prasannaji, you want to try this compound? Satish Ji, I don't think I know much about this. Okay, so all right. Can, okay, sorry. first of all, in, let's try, let's, let me give you a simple one. Let's try the Sarva Guno Petaha. I'll give you the English meanings of that. Sarva okay. means all. You know, so. mm. Guna is qualities. So. And Upetaha is the, um, is the Visheshanam which means that it is the um, yuktaha, sahitaha, so endowed with, endowed with. So now where would you want to put the brackets here now? Uh, his first bracket will be, actually let me see, Vasudha is volunteering, let me see, if she has a mic fixed, I can put it around there. Uh, yes, Vasudha. Vasudha, is it? maybe she raised her hand. Uh, oh, she have a mic, let's see, okay. Okay, Vasudha, go ahead. I guess I cannot hear you. Okay, I'll keep, I'll keep you unmuted so you can try to talk when the mic comes on. Okay, I'll keep you unmuted. So, so what's happening here is that okay, let, let's give Karthik a chance. Let's see what Karthik has to say. So, uh, first, it will be Sarvani Gunani. That will be one. Actually, it will be Sarve Gunaha. Oh, okay, Sarve Gunaha. Yes, Vasudaji, is there Vasudaji? Oh, yeah, I am here now. Okay, good. So, if you want to try okay, some Okay, then I think uh, it's not with the mic, some other problem. Yes. No, no, I think the echo is not there now. Go ahead, you can try the compound. Okay, what is the compound? Sarva guno petaha. So, it is prasamataha karma dhareha. Sarva guno petaha. So, sarve gunaha. Sarve cha ami gunaha cha. So it is, it is a karma dhareha. Okay. Sarve cha ami gunaha cha. By the way, this Vigra Vakyams always have a very uh, strict kind of formula they follow. So when you see the formula in the commentary, you should understand this is karma dhareha. Generally, when they say that this be adjective noun is karma dhareha most of the time, and they will say, Sarvecha, they'll use the Padipatikam of Adas, Padipatikam will be used, Adas. So you say, Sarvecha Ami Gunaha Cha. So when you say, so when you say, when you say, Saptami. Um, no, Ami is, this is Prathama Bhuvachanam of Adas Padipatikam. So let me put in the document okay. here. What, what, what I'm saying is that, when you read the commentaries, they will, they will use this formula, you know, that, that, so, um, Sarvecha, um, Ami, they'll use the Paribhatikam Adas, and they'll put this one in, this one I'm using the masculine uh, nominative plural form here. It will be the appropriate form, you know, it will be appropriate form, but they will use Adas. Sarvech Ami Gunaha Cha. Let me give you a quick example, another one, maybe an even easier one. So when you see that, they will not use the word Karmadharya. They will just use this word, Sarvech Ami Gunaha Cha. Or when you say Sat Purushaha, 
they will say, you know, or say sadhu purushaha. So then, you, then they'll make the vigravakya will be like this. It'll be sadhu, sadhu. Uh, I'm sorry, sadhu. Uh, So that will be, they will use the form asau, because asau is the normally singular form of others, asau purushascha. So that tells you this, this they are talking about the, about the karmadharya compound, purushascha, purusha, purushaha cha. Okay, so that's the, the means all qualities, so it's adjective noun, all qualities. And then, then what is the next step, what's the, what's the, uh, so now when you make this Tathpurusha compound of which the Karmadhara is a subset, then you can forget about the Pura Padam. Because the Karmadhara is and Tathpurusha are going to be Uttara Pradhanaha. So now the word Sarva is, is, has been accounted for. So now just look at Gunopetaha. What would be that, Avasadaji? Gunopetaha. Guna, guna, gunanam Upetaha. The gunai hi upetaha. Gunai, gunai hi upetaha. Trutiya. Trutiya tat purushaha. So he is endowed Trutiya with good qualities. So, so finally, sarvai hi gunai hi upetaha. So gunai hi upetaha. Sutra Pani Sutra means that kratya karane krita bahulam. So when you see this, 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 this uh, krut pratyaya, particularly nishtha at the end, you know, an adjective nishtha at the end. Mm. Remember, bahuri nishtha goes first. What nishtha? Nishtha means this, what we call in English the fast passive participle. It's a very very bad term, but that's what they call it in English. It's bad because many times it is never, it is neither neither passive nor past, but it's still this this ending ta ending, you know, because Panini says taktavatu nishtha. So this is what he calls nishtha. The ta and the taktavatu are called nishtha. So when this uh, comes as a second member, then that's going to be most likely tatpurusha. It comes as the first member of a compound, like Sita Pradnya Saka Bhasha, we saw Sita Pradnya, right? So that will be Bahuvri. So when you, when you see the Nishtha Padam coming as the Uttara Padam, Prayana Tatpurusha Samasa Bhavati. Uttara Pura Padam Asti Chet, Prayana Bahuvri. It will be Bahuvri. But here Uttara Padam. And then you can try to use Sitya Tatpurusha, see if it fits. One who is one who's endowed with, so he is, no, I shouldn't say one who is endowed with all qualities, means good qualities. Sarvaihi sadgunaihi upetaha, good qualities. Okay, good. Let me give Kartika channel. Let me, let me see him on the on the second one. Now, we have one more count, sorry. Kausalyananda vardhanaha. So let's see what Kartika has to say on that. Yes, Kartika, uh, another one? It's uh, Kausalyayaha anandasya vardhanaha. Oh, very good. Yeah, so first one is Kausalyaha Kausalya Ananda. Kausalya Yaha Ananda. Ananda. So the the joy of the joy of Kausalya. Kausalya Yaha Ananda. Ananda. Shashita so, Purushaha. And then the then you don't need Kausalya in the compound anymore because you already accounted for her. When you make a Tatpurusha bracket like that, then this one is only tagging on to the Anandaha. So you don't have to worry about and just go with Ananda Vardhanaha, you know. So, uh, like you know, when you have in this Govardhana mountain, right, in the in uh, in Rajabhumi, Govardhana mountain. So, so Govardhana Parvataha. So, Gaha, Vardhayati iti iti Govardhana. So, which one who makes the cows grow increases the by by you know giving the uh, uh, Charabhumi. So he he so he supports the cows. So, Govardhana. So. So Ananda Vardhanaha. So Anandam Vardhayati. So Anandasya Vardhanaha. So now this is, so why is this not Upapada Samasa Kartik? Why is this Shachitat Purushaha? Because Vardhanaha is uh, known by itself. Adjective it by itself. Stand, adjective by itself. We can stand so Vardhanaha can stand on its own. <coughs> so the Vigra Vakam should not be Anandam Vardhayati, the Ananda Vardhanaha. That's wrong. Actually, she gave, in fact, I gave the wrong Vigra Vakam there also. I should have said, Gavam Vardhanaha, Go Vardhanaha. So he is the augmenter of the cows, augmenter of the cows. So he is here is the augmenter of the joy of Kausalyaha. So Vardhanaha is uh, is an adjective which can be formed in its own right. It doesn't depend on this, this Upapada being there. 
this vardhana can start like you know ramana maharshi you have right so ramayati iti ramana so one who pleases people you know so so ramayati iti ramana so you can so you can you can have this this uh, vardhana is a separate adjective then you can make it anandasya vardhana make it make it like that now look at this to compare with the with the prayas shloka we had priya darshana so that become bahu vrihi this became this became a karma dharya now how is that now why did that become bahu vrihi why this become a this became a, a because if you go back to that one if you if you take darshana if you take it if you take it as a separate adjectival form and say darshiti darshana either either pashyati darshana you can also make it darshiti darshana now let's let's stop there for one second is the dhatu vridh if you add if you make it a causative form it'll still be, become vardhana only and darshana only so it can be darshayati darshana darshayati iti darshana one who shows but if you do that then what do you do what priya then he he is a shore shore of the deer no he is one whose 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 sight is always dear so that's why the meaning would not fit so we made darshanam as a neuter noun there darshana and then made bahuvri from that priyam darshanam yasya saha if you, so there the meaning fit in that manner while well here we are doing creating an adjective vardhana already and then make it anandasya vardhana so that goes by the by the context you know from the meaning what we what we need so here is clearly means one whose sight is always pleasing and here it means one who augments the joy of his mother very quickly now these two come from different the same pratyaya in the similar pratyaya but different meanings i'll give you the ashtadhyay section for those who wants to those who want to look at it i know this is not a grammar class i know that but how we got these two different different uh, interpretation of the same kind of looking word is one we created a neuter noun which is called the lutya sutram lutya creates a neuter noun like it became like you know uh, asanam karanam darshanam so all these are sutra lutya creates a neuter noun and now that we are stuck with a noun in the pratyaya we we need bahuvrihi to to make us into an adjective or a so lutya 3315 lutya 3315 but the one which kathi just did for us that one is actually create an adjective so you know that so that was lut the u the u becomes ana by the way so lut the 33115 but one that we used just now was the nandigrahi pachadibhya lu ninya achaha so the one that we used just now was this this uh 31134 was used to make a to make the the nandiyadi gana you can use the lut to make an adjective so nandanaha one who pleases is nandanaha madhusudana sudayati ti sudana one who killed madhu the killer of madhu sir madhu is madhusudana so this was so we need a little bit more grammar a little bit more grammar so these this so this ana ending is can be neuter nouns or they can be adjectives also remember remember to make it easy for you so when you see the ana ending words they can be you know napunsakam pradipadikam or they can also be it can be a visheshanam also okay. so so finally kausalya kausalya yaha anandasya version in the beginning you want to make it you actually you know what you should do kartik is take it only two at a time in the beginning mm-hmm. because unless you unless you have unless you have a dwandva samasa we mm-hmm. say ram lakshman bhrat shatrughna ha then you have to do all four together right. ram is okay. lakshman is bhrat is shatrughna is like that but otherwise you should only take it two at a time so first okay. make it kausalya yaha ananda ha mm-hmm. then tasya vardhana so take take it like that okay okay um okay now so and any other compounds no now how about this saptami here what's up the end the tritiya was here now what's going on over there kartik any 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 comments on that gambhira is a vishaya saptami like in the in this matter of uh, gambhira he is like the samudra correct very good it's a vishaya saptami saptami can be really you know देशे काले विषये दिस इज व्हाट पॉइंट क्वेश्चन आधार वाज कॉल इज कॉल्ड द अधिकरणम इट कैन बी यू नो देशे लाइक अस्मिन देशे वसति अस्मिन मासे पठति इट कैन बी विषय आल्सो सो सो दिस इज विषय इन द मैटर ऑफ प्रोफंडिटी दिस इज व्हाट आई एम सेइंग गंभीर्य गंभीर्य इन द मैटर ऑफ प्रोफंडिटी ही वाज लाइक द ओशन 
So in, in a matter of depth or deepness, deepness, he was like the ocean. He was as deep as the ocean. So in the matter of depth, he was like the ocean. How about this one, Dhairi and what about that? Uh, the I'm not sure. I think even Saptami will fit, uh, if will fit there also, right? Like, would have been, um, would have been, but here it is not. It's Triti over here. Triti, yeah. So here it will probably be Hetau, in the sense of, on account yes. of, on mm -hmm. account of his fortitude, unshakableness, he was like the Himo Himavan, he was like yes. the Himalaya mountain. So due to, so he's made back to back different usages here. Both are comparisons, but this is in the matter of this Gambirium, he was like Samudraha. And due to his, on account of his dhairyam, he was like Himavan. So even though they are, they are both comparisons, one is in the Saptami he has put there as in Vishay Saptami. And one is the Tritiya Hetau, on account of his fortitude, he was like Himavan. Okay. Well, last time I think I mentioned this, this thing, I'll give a little bit more detail on this Himavan. It was called the Pratyas, Matu Pratya Pratya. Matu is a default here. Now what happens is that, uh, without doing too much detail, is if that, if the, if the Pradipadikam ends either in a A or a A or a Ma, or if the Upadha is A, A or Ma, the Vatu becomes Matu. I'm sorry, the matup becomes vatup. One more time. Either the ending varna is a, a, or ma, or the upadha is a, a, or ma, then the vatup, matup becomes vatup. So, for example, you say shri man. So, shri man, there's e ending shri. But lakshmi van. Lakshmi Van, Vishnu Sasana Sotram, I think those who chant Vishnu Sasana Sotram, Lakshmi Van, Samitinjaya, I think it comes there, right? So Lakshmi, Lakshmi Van, because Lakshmi, the Makara became Upadha, was the penultimate letter. So either the ending or the penultimate should be A, A, or Ma, then the Matu becomes Matu. There are some more rules for this, but that's the basic rule, which you can remember that, and that the, um, I'll give a number for that also. That's, that's point number one. So, so for example, you say Balawan, because Bala ends in, ends in short R, it becomes Balawan. Um, so, but on the, on the other hand, it becomes Shaktiman, because in that it will not become like that, because the Shakti is ending in E. Now, the other thing is that, as I mentioned to you, this Matup comes in very special means. This is the Pani first sutra is that, Tadas Tad Asya Asti Asmin Niti Matup, 5294. So one who has that, or in, in whom that can be found, um, that is called this matup. So clearly Himavan is, is the one in whom you can find a lot of snow, or one who has a lot, either one can probably work here, is one who has a lot of snow. This, so the Sutram 829 is the one I was referring to right now. Um, 829 is, and won't go into more detail, but it's a very easy thing. When does matup become vatup? Uh, when does that mat become like Bhagavat? That Bhaga is ending in A. So that, that is what makes the, uh, because the default is matup. Matup means mat only, that U and Pur, it letters. So, but you have to make it into the, uh, so these are two sutras, is 829, 8210. It's Madhupadha So Mad means Makarantad, Avarnantad, Upadha It can penultimate also. Matu or Vo, that Matu becomes, the Mu of Matu becomes Va. And also next Sutra also is there. So let's, so I'll just put here in the document maybe 8, 2, 9, 10. Uh, so then my next thing I want to point out to you is in what meanings does the, the, uh, does this one, so 8, 2, 9, and it changes, so the ending or penultimate, uh, ending or penultimate um, should be, of the Padipadikam, should be either the uh, a, a, or ma, and I uh, know this is all the end penultimate of the of the pratipadikam that we started with of the pratipadikam. That should be this one um, uh, pratipadikam, uh, and then that will change the will 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 change the uh, mat to what. Okay, now one more thing I want to point to you is that we, I think we briefly mentioned last time we talked about Hanuman, but this Matup is used in some special meaning. Let's go to this Ashtadhyay for one second. 
because Sima one, you know. So let's this comes in uh, um, five two ninety four. So the siya asmin niti matupa. This is from five two ninety four to five two to end of five two. It is this matupa prakriya, very important prakriya. The number of words which you will never even suspect they are matupa, but they are. Like a word like nagaram. You know, who would have thought nagaram is matupa? It is because naga plus ra. The naga is this, you know, like fixtures. So one which has stationary, lot of stationary buildings and things which don't move is nagara. Like what like keshavaha. So keshava also is like that. So prashastaha keshaha asya asthiti keshavaha. So one who has, you know, very wonderful hair is keshavaha. Like shamala, maduraha. So maduraha also like that. So one who has madhu is madhura. Jatila. One who has jata is jatila. So these are all these words which, you know, you don't suspect. The word like, you know, there are many words like that. But, okay, so what, what I want to point out to you is that the, um, mm, let me see if I can find it here, you know. Okay, look at this one in this, Ashika, okay. And this is important because what this says is that, Bhuma ninda pasham sasu nitya yoge atishayane samsarge asti vakshaya bhavanti matupadayaha. So matupaksatra word is like Bhagavat, Himavat, Hanuma, Hanuman, you know, all these, all these words, they, they, they can have in these, what in the Bhuma, means when there's plenty of them, like Goman, Bhuma is plenty in, in number, so one who has many cows becomes Goman, okay, not only one has one or two cows, then Ninda, like Kushti, one with leprosy, you know, so Kushta, your Roga, one is Kushti, so it's the Ninda, Ninda Arthe, that's not that common, then Prasham Sasu, like Keshavaha, so one who has really praiseworthy hair, we, we, other, everybody Keshava, <laughs> we don't have to be Keshava. So, but that is Prasham Sasu. So, it, it could be Prasham Sasu like Keshava. So, one who has beautiful hair. Or it could be even, it, because there's a guru, there's a Rishi called Loma Shaha, by the way. The Loma Shaha is one who has a lot of hair. So, he, so he was one who had a lot of hair. So, he might, he might be Bhuma Artesha. Then, Nitya Yoga, one who always has that. Nitya Yoga, like, like Shira Sagaraha. It always has milk in it. It should be always connected, not once in a while. Nitya yoga. Then atishayane, one who has in, in abundance something. Abundance. So that could have been, let's see, gives the meaning. Udarini kanya. It's a bad example. <laughs> this is a girl who has a big stomach. Udarini kanya. So she is, a, she is a girl who has a big stomach. So stomach is very big. So but himavan. So himavan is one who has a lot of snow. Not only snow like here and there. So that's atishayane. Um, some sarge. Let me say a word like dandi. Sanyasi is a dandi. So he has done everything all the time. Not like, you know, once he keeps it at home and then he takes it once in a while outside. So that is some sarge. So, so some dandi chatri. So one who is upadhyay, he always carries umbrella with him. Upadhyay. So chatri upadhyay. See, he always, he comes, the teacher always comes with his, with his umbrella. So he becomes so. See, there, these are the special meanings. So sometimes you will see in the comment they say prasham sayam matup, you know, bhumni matup, nindaya matup. So you know they they will they will score these words. So when we have vimavan, my we probably can take it bhumni, you know. So one you can maybe so these are words you can you have to look for. So when you, when you see any matup, so lead the one. So five two ninety four gives a special senses, you know, or the the kind of extended senses of matup. So special. Uh, we say special connotations of the uh, of the matup, and of course matup means any matup also the uh, anything in the sense of matup. So that whole section, not the word, not the matup pratyaya only, but matup arthiya pratyaya. Any any matup pratyaya pratyaya. Okay, so let's see what is the left here. Uh, did we do this one now? Um, uh, Himavan we got. Okay, let's bring Balaramji on the scene. Let's let's see what he has. Yes. Sadhiji, the Dhairiyana is not Itham Buddha Dhritya, is it? I'm sorry? The Dhairiyana, the Tritya, is not the Itham Buddha Dhritya. It is... No, Dhairiyana means Itham Buddha Dhritya, you should be able to use the word Lakshitaha. Ah, so... Dhairiyana Lakshitaha is quite... I see, I see. It's probably Hetha is what you want. It's only for Lakshana, I see. Okay. It's probably Lakshitaha is what you want to put there, you know, so... Um, okay, okay. It's not like uh, he he looks like Himavan. 
in in her ear. That that won't qualify. That won't qualify because he'll okay. be like you know he's the you know, like when you say you know like the topi wala, so one who has you know the, the you know chata wala upadhyaya. So ch- mm-hmm. chatrin upadhyaya, one who all that you know that fellow always has the, the umbrella with him. That fellow, that okay. that is the tambute lakshya. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. he's probably here now. Okay, fair. Okay, so let's take Balram your line. Let's see. Okay, you ready? Balram, you ready? For translation? No, he's not there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Someone else can do it. I'm here. I'm here. He's here. Okay, he's uh, ready. Yeah, I I, I muted myself. I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. He. Uh, okay, he is endowed with all excellences. Uh, he is Saha. Saha, very good. Endowed is Upeta. Very good. With all excellences is Sarva Guna. Sarva Guna. All is Sarva and Guna. You are good at this. You should, you should do more of this. <laughs> you are good at this. And he enhances the delight of his mother Kausalya. Uh, enhances is Vardhanaha. Vardhanaha. Yes. Delight is Ananda. Ananda. Kausalya. Kausalya. His mother is bracket. Uh, he wise with the... He wise with... So... Vice is Iva. Iva. With the ocean. Samudra. Samudra. In profundity. Uh, Gambiriya. Gambiriya. Vishay Saptami is there. And compares with, I guess, Iva Bo- again. Iva. The Himalaya is uh, Himavan. Himavan. Oh, now look at what they did. In the point of firmness. Ah. So they didn't say on account of his, this thing. Hmm. It's slightly different than what we had, did we? Because they said, because these two, they have done the same in profundity mm-hmm. and in the point of, so this almost looks like a saptami in the point of firmness. So dhairye, imavan, iva. Okay. Let me see if I can look at the commentary and find something. Because that's, that's correct. I mean, the meaning is about the same, but it is not exactly. Tritya meaning is not there. Mm. The shloka number 17, if you can quickly find something. So, dhairyam uh, says, uh, tena, no, dhairyena, on account of that. I think this is, I think it should be on account of his courage. He was like Himavan. But let me see. Dhairyam nama shokahe, see, say, dhairyam nama shokahe tu sadbhave api nishokatvam. Even when you have something to give you sorrow, you don't have sorrow. Tena himavan iva. Okay, so we'll put a question mark over there because if I was expecting that on account of his or due to his courage, extraordinary courage, he was uh, he was like the Himalaya. Okay, so but because this transition looks now like uh, looks like the uh, dhairye himavan iva. Okay. So could be they, they may maybe they missed it or maybe they rephrased it for us. But okay, thank you. So let's go to the go to the next one. Uh, Vasuji is back. So I think Vasu got a mic. Is that Vasu? So Vasu got a mic. Is that right? No, I think there's something in the chat. Okay. Anyway, let's go on. So let us now take take the next one. Vishnuasa Darsho Virje Somavat Priya Darshanaha Kalagni Sadrusha Krodhe. Kshamaya Prithivi Samaha Dhanadena Samasthyage Satya Dharma Ivaparaha One more time, slowly. Vishnana Sadrisho Virje Somavat Priya Darshanaha Kalagni Sadrisha Krodhe Kshamaya Prithivi Samaha Dhanadena Samasthyage Satya Dharma Ivaparaha Yes, Vasuji is back. Yes, Vasuji. Yes, Vasuji. Can you hear me now? I can hear you fine, yes. I oh, thank you. Your mic is working yeah. fine. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see who wants to put the chair up for me. Uh, Ravi can do it. Ravi, let's see. Ravi can do it. Yeah. Yes, Ravi, go ahead. Vishnuna. Vishnuna. Sadrushaha. Sadrushaha. Virye. Virye, correct. Okay. Somavat. Somavat. Priyadarshanaha. Is that a compound or not? Uh, so, Somavat. Looks like a separate word. Isanamvyaya. So, Priyadarshana is a separate word from uh, Somavat. Could be, could be. Could so, 
So, so this is again we have to make a decision uh. with the compound because when you have an Amveya, you never know it's part of compound or not. You're right, this is a separate word in this case because the compound meaning will not make sense, you know. Because Priya Dashina <laughs> is, is a Bahuvrihi and then tacking on Sumavata on top of that will not make sense. But Sadiji, on the contrary, Priya Dashina was already said. Why should it be repeated within two circles? Yeah, Priya Dashina, that's also true. <laughs> That's another problem, but I will not make it a compound anyway. <laughs> even if you, even if you want to come up with a reason to, to, and why, why have it? You know, we look at the commentary for some good reasons, but we will not make it a compound still. That the compound won't make any sense. Um, okay, so what's the next one, uh, Ravi? Kalagni sadrushya. Uh -huh. The compound, yes. Krodhe. Krodhe. Kshamaya. Kshamaya. Prithivi samaha. TV Samaha is a compound again. Dhanadena. Dhanadena. Samastyage. No, Samaha. Oh, Samaha. Sorry. Samaha Tyage. Tyage. Satye. Satye. Dharmaha. Dharmaha. Iva. Iva. Aparaha. Aparaha. Very good. So it comes in Gita, right? Apare niyataharaha pranan pranesh jubati. Aparaha means other. But interesting thing, the English we have these words other and another, right? Other and another. <laughs> you have paraha, aparaha. So paraha and aparaha are almost similar things, you know. It's like other is paraha, another is aparaha. So they are almost uh, similar similar meanings. Um, Satishti. Okay. How about the vivakti? Yes. So this could also be dharme. Ah, yes, could be dharme. Which one do you think it is now? I think it's dharme because uh, the previous word is satye. No, but look at this one. Look at, compare with dhairiya and himavani. Well, let's, take, no, let's take this one. Samudraha eva gam. See, first of all, we're making a very good point, by the way. Ravi is making a very good point. So, Padachita could have been dharme. Instead of, let me take you into, um, we have an actual Gita action for a little while. Let me go back to the Bhagavad Gita. Um, so what what Ravi is saying is that is we could have had this usage. Um, look at the tenth Adhyaya of Gita, uh, and also in the third Adhyaya also. Um, so Yesham Loka Imaha Prajaha. So in Gita we had the same Sandhi. Please practice Sandhi rules, okay? So uh, you have to because. That's very basic. Uh, uh, one second. Uh, 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 no, um, no, a little bit. I missed it. I a little bit prior. It comes in that. Madhava manasa jata ye sham loki maas prajaha. So it's exact same. Okay, here it is, I think. Okay, see, loka imaha. In Gita, when you have this loka imaha, it is loke imaha. So, yesham loke imaha prajaha. So, from all these rishis, this entire population of the world has come into being. So, loke imaha. So, that, so now, this exact same thing, right? Loke imaha. And in, in Ramayana, we are now looking at the, um, we are looking at the uh, dharma ivapara, same thing. So the, we have the akaranta. We could have the either lokaha or dharmaha. So dharma and eva. How about quickly sutra Ravi? What sutra will you apply here? If you do dharma eva, para what sutram there? That's a lopa shakalasya. So each one yavaya ha. Lopa shakalasya. Followed by lopa shakalasya. And if you do dharma ha eva para ha, what is sutra there then? Then uh, it will be uh, dharma. Ho bhag. So sasaju shoru ho. Oh sasaju shoru ho. Then karava. No, that's it, that's it. No, that's it. No kar. We don't have kar. Ah, we don't have kar. Yeah. So then bho bhago apura se yoshi. Yoshi. And then, then dhar loko shapal yasya. So these two things are given the same. So it could be dharmaha iva paraha. Could be dharme iva paraha. Now, um, guna sajjante. I think comes also third day of Gita, right? So I think guna gune shuvartante iti matva na sajjate. Prakritir guna samuraha sajjante guna karma. That's that's in the that's not that's in the other thirteen adhyaya I think. Very confusing. These two shlokas are very confusing. <laughs> One says Prakritehe Kriyamanani Gunaih Karmani Sarvashaha. 
अहंकार विमुख दस थोड़ अध्याय और प्रकृति ये वचन कर्माणी क्रमाण सर्वशाद दर्शन में थोड़ी ना अध्याय इसमें यू कैन गो बैक एंड फॉर आई डन द मेट एंड नॉन वरी आई नो ऑल दिस व्हाट आई कॉल दी यू नो दी स्नेक्स एंड लैडर्स ऑफ गीता दे कॉल आई कॉल स्नेक एंड लैडर केज दिस इज अ ह्यूज स्नेक दैट यू हैव देयर यू कैन गो फ्रॉम वन टू द अदर एंड यू नी वंडरिंग हाउ डू फिनिश गीता सो फास्ट आई जस्ट स्किप 10 चैप्टर्स इन बिटवीन बिकॉज ओके द वन आई एम थिंकिंग ऑफ द um uh this one is guna guneshu vartant iti matvan sajjate uh um uh karmane uh daratada uh yadi yaham na karte uh okay i think it's the next one here uh iti vadam jana jnana karma sanya sankari muratma okay here this is the one this is the one thinking of prakate kriya mana nikane karma here it is guna guneshu vartanta iti matvan sajjate look at the same sandhi here vartanta iti so the same we had vartante iti and well just on this point while we on the gita right now we mention to you one point i think there are there are some i think tapes and books also which which chant the gita with the padachira you know so they say guna guneshu vartante iti matvan sajjate now if you do that see what will happen is people who don't know the grammar they'll be looking at the book they'll be saying you know what this is is a typo in the book or is a typo in the tape because guna guneshu vartanta is what's in the book the tape is saying guna guneshu vartante iti matvana sajjate so the best thing to chant the gita is to take it from just until the danda you don't stop we can take it slow slow is good but don't do pada chheda in between is good thing so guna guneshu vartanta iti matvan sajjate for the, the safest thing to do so if you, if you start breaking then two things happen first of all you have to be very good at breaking correctly all the time secondly there is a group of people chanting that some people are breaking some people are not breaking in between then you know samattam nasti so vaishamyam jayate it is not good for chanting thirdly the vedic system is that yatha likitam tad padhitavyam you only only chant just as it is you know comes from the teacher's mouth you don't do the pad pad paatha comes next in the vedas not only that sometimes if you want to break it you might even lose the <coughs> the meter let me give you uh, i'm sorry but i started sorry on the gita for too long but uh, this is a, this is also important point because sometimes people ask me you know what tape to get for the gita i like the one which are the one which i i think posted on the website or on the group rather is the one we don't break till the till you get to the end because there is one this shloka in the 8th adhyaya it says parastasmatu bhavanyo vyakto vyakta sanat and if you break it there you will lose the meter i think let me it might be there you yeah, look at this one now see parastasmatu bhavanyo vyakto vyakta sanatanah if you start breaking that parastasmatu bhavo anyah avyakto vyakta sanatanah so you introduce a new vowel there so now your meter is lost so all these problems i think is better not to break till you get to the danda you know you can go slow but don't be so paras tasmat bhavo nyo vyakto vyakta sanatanah of these avagras are or may not be there also some some stupid one says vyakto vyakta say avyakto vyakta so you do you don't have to pass an opinion on your own just by breaking it you can just go straight from here to here then you're very safe what you're doing anyway so so now which one is it here what do you think is it the dharma eva paraha or dharme eva paraha look at I'm this one here. look at this one right here samudra eva grampiri so satye dharma eva aparaha aparaha very good so so only from the kind of ravi had a good point it could have been dharme but from from it will not make because then you will not be left with any, anything in the prathama you know so he is he is like another dharma So in in the matter of truth, dharma. So dharma eva. I'm sorry, dharma eva aparaha. Okay, now how about the compounds? Let me see. Let me see if uh, let me talk about soma vat for a second. Let me talk about the word soma vat. Okay. Now this is confusing now. Now this is not the vatu patya. We just saw this himavan right now, right? so that was the matu parse pratyaya which got became vatu because as i mentioned to you because the akara was over here but this is not that this could have been the same vatu this these are adjectives 
this Himavan, you know, and this uh, Sriman, Srimati, they are adjectives. So now, uh, actually, Ravi, can you tell me that if I, if this were the Vatu Pratya, what would be the declension of it? If it were just Soma Vat? If it were Soma Vat, like a Matu Pratya, if it oh, were Soma Vatu but that will be in the masculine. But if what will what if it was soma what right now in the sloka we have soma what, then what could have been the possibility for that? What declension? What de, let's say if take him or soma what doesn't matter. What declension will give you the form soma what? What declension will give you the forms? Like we say bhagavan. Sambodhana. Sambodhana also will be, will be hey him or one hey bhagavan. Okay. Hey bhagavan. Anybody in the class? Okay, Suzanne has the answer. Oh, I'm impressed. Oh, wow. Yes, Suzanne. Newton. Oh, I'm impressed. Very good. She's absolutely right. Now you're doing so well. How about an example from the Gita? <laughs> you want to try? Sorry. No, I can't. Okay, but so Suzanne is very right. But she's from Australia. Very good. Nice to have you. So Suzanne is right. Because this soma what could have been a neuter, prathama athava dvitiya ek vachanam, because samo napun sakat sutram, the luksyat, so it would be. And in the Gita, there are some nice neuter forms in the 13th Adhyaya of the Gita, where it says, nyayam yatatravakshami yajnyata mruta mashnate. So there we heard anadi mat param brahma, anadi mat, anadi mat. It's a declined form. It's a declined form qualifying Brahma. And Brahma is neuter. So if you know the Gita Vyakram really well, you will not be, uh, you'll be on a very strong footing, you know. Very strong foot. Hard to shake you. So, Dharashetum uh, na Because I will immediately make the connections to the Gita. Okay, let's see. How about this one? Shutimal Loke. Sarvata Shutimat. Shutimat, he has years everywhere, Shruti Mat, is qualifying Brahma. So, uh, that's one, I think one more is here. Uh, uh, here, Anadi Mat. So we have this one here. This is also declined. The Napum uh, uh, question. Okay, Vasudha has a question from you. Namaste Satish Ji, Shruti Mat, that is, can you go to that Shruti Mat once? Yeah, Shruti Mat. Okay, Shruti Mat Loki. Sutam Torli, right? Torli. Sutam Torli, right? Torli. Uh, Torli, that is Torli, that's what I want to say. Torli, right? thank you, correct. Torli, thank Torli. You, correct. So, Vasudhaji, right? Torli, but Shruti Mat is declined in form. So, these both are coming. So, this could have been, coming back to Ramayanam, this could have been a neuter Prathama Dvitya equation. Of course, it won't make sense in the context because we don't have anything neuter right now. You know, We're not, we're, we're only talking about Sri Rama right now. So, we don't have anything neuter. But it could have been. But this is not that. This is an Amviya which, which the Pratya is Vati. And these are mostly adverbs. So we have a bit of a problem here now because this one is not an adverb. So let's go to Sutram. I think I had it I had up there. Just give you, I think, probably make it the last Sutram of the day, which I, I always say that. <laughs> I never worked out that way. But at least I'll let me try to make it the last Sutram of the day. Uh, yeah, it is Tenatulyam Kriya Ched Vatihi. The Sutram is Kriya Ched Vatihi. So let's look at a quick example here. So he says, is that tena iti tritya sam samarth samartha tulyam iti etasmin narthe vati pratya bhavati yat tulyam kriya chet. So only if he does an action like somebody else. So brahmane na tulyam vartate brahmanavad asharati. So he says ashvad dhavati. He, he runs like a horse, you know. Ashvavad dhavati. Brahmana was acharati. So it has to be an adverb to somebody. So and he also says Kriyagrahanam Kim. Because Gunatulya Mabhut, if you just have a quality, this vati should not be used. Putrena tulya stulaha. So he is fat like my son. Putrena tulyaha. So now now I could not use I could not use can I make putravat stulaha? I should not say putravat stulaha. But what do we have? We have, <laughs> we have, we have some of what Priyadarshana. It clearly looks to be like he has a pleasing countenance like the moon. Now what do we do now? Yatha kathanchit samadhanam kartavyam. 
you have to somehow do samadhanam which which why do adhyaharanam you have to supply something say priya so you can make it like this you can make it priya darshanah san somavat shobhate somavat you supply shobhate somavat shobhate he looks good like the moon looks good he looks good and he is priya darshanah so he is he is one who's, who has pleasing countenance and he looks good or he shines or you know something here you supply something so you have to make it when you say sapnavat jagat we say jagat sapnavat vartate this 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 world is like a dream you know so but it it, it looks like a dream it 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 seems like a dream like you can say jagat sapnavat bhasate it it appears like a dream so that you have to supply that now you have to get that because it it is not here so i just want to point out this vat pratyaya this word is called vati vati so this pratyaya is vati let me see if i write that number might be off i know we almost out of time but we anyway we are done with this shloka so 51 uh, i just going to get the right number because the other document has some wrong numbers a little bit up and down so look use this one for the numbers numbers might be slightly off uh, yes it's actually 51115 So five one 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 five. I'll just put in the document here. So, so the one this patya when when we were talking about swama vat, we don't have the uh, vatu from the matu. We don't have that. What we do have really is this vati pratyaya, is uh, atra pratyaya vati. So uh, which creates vati uh, prat. Which pani cause vati vara. So it is going to be that e is only. A, and marker and it is you know kriya visheshanam so prayana kriya visheshanam so prayana kriya visheshanam but we have to make it fit some way to make it fit here so prayana kriya visheshanam that's all i wanted to point out that it doesn't fit really well as it is but you have to you know this is ramayanam so ramayanam everything is possible so we have to make some adjustments and you know fit it there uh, visheshanam uh, vishe All right. So let's let's see what what is what else do we have left? Um, okay. Um, so what we do? So Vishnu na sadrsha means who looks similar to sadrsha. This is upabodh samasa. We have too many rules, but dhatu is drishya. Saman has become sir. By the way, there there are two things which in a in a compound can become sir in a compound in in the in the earlier part. Which is the other one, by the way? ये वही नहीं से सवर्णः समान वर्णः सवर्णः स्वरूपः समान रूपः स्वरूपः सो यस समान बिकम अदर वन इज सह वेरी गुड सह यज्ञ प्रजा सृष्ट्वा पुरोवाच प्रजापतिः सो यू कैन से यू कैन से सपुत्रः पिता आगच्छति सपुत्रः इस पुत्रेण सह आगच्छति दो आर बहु ब्रिहिस सो दिस वन इज समान सो समान वन हु लुक्स Similar to, it looks similar to is, is called. This is kind of upoda samasa, but anyway, we don't give not all the rules today. But um, the number is okay. I told you <laughs> I'll give one more number. So six three eighty nine. Drug drusha vatushu. Anyway, this entire six three avastha jai six dot three. So Pani talks about the change to left. You know the in a samasa the pura padam. पूर्व पदे पूर्व पद कार्य इज ऑल इन सिक्स डॉट थ्री ओके सो एंटायर सिक्स डॉट थ्री अब अष्टाध्याय पाणिनी अनुवृत्ति अब उत्तर पदे उत्तर पद फॉलोज वॉट हैव इज द पूर्व पद सिक्स डॉट थ्री एनिवे समान इज बिकम सह समान सदृश मीन्स हू लुक्स सिमिलर टू सो ही वॉज सिमिलर टू लॉर्ड विष्णु वीर इन द मैटर ऑफ सो अगेन वीर से भाव वीर बट दिस वन ऑल कम्स इन एंड ऑफ इन फाइव डॉट वन तस् भाव तोल So tasya bhava hatva thalau. So that comes in the right here from five one 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 nine. So tasya bhava, and there the pratyakshan is coming. This one down here, these two. So this one is probably going to be the five one. This we we saw the gambhiriya, <coughs> viriya, klebiyam, saundaryam. They're all in this five one one twenty four. Okay, if you want to look up on your own, you can do that. So viriya in the mat. So virasya bhava viriyam. So means heroism. in the point of heroism he was equal to lord vishnu and the next we already did that <coughs> here pleasing countenance and he looked good like the moon 
how about this compound, uh, Ravi? You can do on this for us. Kalami Sadrishaha. What do you want to do for that? This, uh, like. Uh, so this one is going like, to be that that second part is easy. Agnina Sadrishaha. That's going to be easy. He was like the Agnina Sadrishaha. He was similar to the fire. Now, what is the what is Kala Agni? I think it means pralaya kala agni. He was he was like the fire. You can say pralaya kalasya agni, or kale agni maybe could be also. He definitely tatpurushaha. So he was similar to the fire at the time of, you know, the new universal destruction, or of the universal destruction. So this is tatpurushaha. And you know, then the, then you make it. Once you make that, you you make a bracket over here. Agni becomes pradhana. In Agnina Sadrishaha, he is he's similar to the fire of universal destruction. Before I can go to the commentaries uh, quickly, uh, mm, no commentary, okay. Sometimes they, they don't give commentary because they think it's obvious. So let me try. <coughs> Kala Agni Sadrishaha, Kala Agni Krodha Samakrodha Ityartaha. Kala Agni Krodha Samakrodha. So his anger, his wrath is like the you know fire of universal destruction. Okay. Uh, all right. So that's that's one of that. And then Krodhe in the matter of in the matter of his anger. Right? Then Kshamaya. Again Tritya now. He, he he's going back and forth with Tritya and Saptami. So Kshamaya is on account of his forbearance or patience. Prithvi Samaha. This is also Tatpurushaha. Because sama is an adjective at the end. This is not bahuvrihi. You can adjective at the keep remember this lesson for today. You can adjective at the end, it's most likely not a bahuvrihi. It's going to be a tatpurushaha. So prithivya samaha. He was equal to the earth on account of his forbearance. Then dhanadaha. Dhanadaha is you know is upad samasa. Dhanam dadati to dhanadaha. One who gives wealth. Miss kuberaha. So kubere na samaha tyage. In the sense of charity, in the in the point of in the matter of charity, he was equal to the god of wealth. And Satya is in the in the matter of righteousness or truth. He was like another, you know, um, dharma is the he was, he was as if he was righteousness incarnate. Probably I, I would say in the matter of truth. So, so, so you know, this aparama is another, or is, it is the one beyond whom there is nobody. Almost like dharma, beyond whom there is no No, it's another only, another. So, in the matter of satya, he is like dharma. He is like another and dharma. Means he is dharma. like another. Another dharma. So, not so Lord dharma is there, but he is another like another dharma. Means equal sama is same. He is like another. So, apara is almost like, like you know, samaha or, or tulyaha, the same meaning. It's just another way of saying that, you know. So, apara, apara dharma. Ha. Let's see. Is Kubera known for? Sir. Hmm? Yeah, Kubera was actually not maybe. Is, is he known for him. charity at all? Because if he, if he was charitable, would be rich. I mean that. <laughs> so <laughs> let me see. Actually, uh, it says um, uh, Let's see. Let's see Anup's point if I can find. Tyage he says dhanat dhanat tyage, dharmaatham dhanavyaya vishaye, apayekshita dhana sampatto dhanade na nava nidhi she na samaha. Asmin eva aunshi upama, natu tyaga aunshi. <laughs> so he is saying the upama is only that he, as if he had so much money. He says asmin eva aunshi means that he had the nava nidhi shena, so that he always had a treasury which was always full. Asmin eva aunshi upama natu tyaga aunshi. So so not like not Kubera was maybe not that charitable, but he did have unending treasure so which 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 Rama had. Tasya Kuberasya Dhana Sangraha Evo Pravrutte He only collects wealth. He doesn't, he doesn't give so much. So this Upama, uh, this is what the commentator is saying. <laughs> so he's saying the Upama is only the sense of having like unending or unlimited wealth. Not in the sense of Tyaga, because Kubera doesn't give that much charity. Is what, anyway, that's the commentator's opinion. Let's see what other one says. Tyaga Vishay Dhanena Kuberena Samaha Tad, uh, tadvad uh, data ityartaha sagittam. So 
actually other, other commentators defend it. He says Kubera Sya Tak Tyagatam Prasiddham. So Kubera maybe he was very charitable. Tyage Chadhanando Yatha Iti Adi Vaksham. Okay. Okay. Kutashit Siddham Tyage Chadhan. Anyway, okay. So that 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 Upama is a little bit you have to it may not be that you know that Kubera was really charitable or not. Now, but uh, so let's let's take Balrami. Let's see what we can do. I think we've given him enough. So our job is to give Balrami enough to do the translation. <laughs> that is our job. <laughs> so let let's try now. Let's go down here. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I lost the whole page. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. So he's a replica. He is a replica. Okay. Sadrisho. Sadrishaha. Of Lord Vishnu. Vishnu na. Vishnu na. In prowess, Virye. Virye. is pleasing of aspect, Priyadarshanaha. Priyadarshanaha. as the moon. Somavat. Yeah, see this is what they have done, see they have to translate as it is, but you know as you see the problem with this vati is that it should not be used you know like that just like you know, you cannot say you know, you cannot say gajabat sthulaha. Mm -hmm. should not do that really should not anyway it's, it's here so we, we take it as it is um okay in the sh in the show off because they put the show off because you know you know so in the show of anger krode krode he resembles sadrishaha sadrishaha the, de the destructive fire kala agni uh probably agni only and then okay, at the end, end of, of this okay. end of creation is Kala. So Pralaya uh -huh. Kala is what it means. Uh -huh. at, that is so they have made they have made like so Kale, Pralaya Kale. So uh -huh. Agnihi. Agnina Sadrisha. Uh, so. Okay. And is a counterpart. Uh, Shamai? Uh, Samaha. Samaha. Of Mother Earth. Prithvi. Prithvi. By the way, we have two parts. We have, we have the word Prithvi also there. We have to work out Prithvi. Because Prithivi also is there. You work on uh -huh. the word Prithu. Prithu means to be large, wide, you know. So Prithivi is one who is, which is very, very wide, very spacious, Prithivi. Anyway, in four bearings. Again, they have made a Saptami over here. So it looks like they made a Saptami everywhere, you know. So even though this Kshamaya is Trithiya, on account uh -huh. of his four bearings, he was similar to the, uh, but anyway, they have made like, in four bearings is this uh, Kshamaya. Kshamaya. Then he equals. Samaha. Samaha. Kubera, the Lord, of, Dhanadena, the, the Lord of riches, the bestower of wealth, okay, in liberality. Tyage. Tyage. And is another. Aparaha. Aparaha. The Dharmaha, God of piety. Dharma. As it were. Eva. Eva. In point of truthfulness. Satya. Satya, very good. So if you can keep on doing this like that, you know, this is what I want, hopefully, to get a liking for this. It is, you know, you may not get all the words. We, we, we tend to get almost 100%. But even if you can get 20%, 30%, 10%, whatever, even if you get nothing, zero, at least read, read the shloka as it is, loudly, clearly, that much you can do. And look at the translation. You can pick at least some words, you know, just try to connect. And you'll be amazed how much you will learn. You learn a lot, very fast. You learn a lot. Mm -hmm. And there'll be a few forms which be bugging you all the time. You know, what's this word? I, it comes a lot then I want to know the meaning of this word. Then you can look it up and you'll also remember it going forward. And of course, you're welcome to post questions and, you know, ask questions on, on, the, on you know, if you feel something is really not making sense. Now, let me see, let me see, anu, I mean, Anubji's question, and then we stop the class, is why is this given twice, Priyadarshana? If, if I cannot find it, I will do it next time. Because if it's a good point, you can, you can have Somavat Priyadarshanaha, Sadeva Priyadarshanaha. So let's see how the game No, I think, see, see, my own answer would be, though he is being compared in Virya with something, you immediately also say he's as pleasing as the moon. So that, could you know, be. It, yeah, could be, yeah. So the prior one was kind of like a fierce one. Fierce, so immediately, exactly. Immediately he is kind of cool. Right. Uh, could be, could and be that. That's one. why I think he's done the same thing in Krodha and Shamaya, you know, just to say. Mm, yes, not, back to back to back. So back to back. Back to back, exactly. Comparison. So. Chandravat. Praja Vyavahara Nirikshana Kale Somyadarshanaha. Oh, so this is a new one now. Chandravat is Praja Vyavahara Nirikshana Kale Somyadarshanaha. So when he kind of examines or overlooks the activities of people, 
see is very pleasing. Like just like the moon is a witness of everybody's action, so also he is a witness, but he is very pleasing countenance. Okay. So that's that's all this this one one person is giving that. Uh, let's see. So what uh the Somavat Pyadarashanaha Shoka Nivrutti Purva Kam Alhada Karaha. So he removes the sorrows of everybody like the moon please everybody by removing their sorrow. Similarly Shoka Nivrutti Purva Kam Alhada Karaha. He makes you happy and removes your sorrow like the moon. Okay. But see doesn't nobody is giving why it is repeated that nobody is giving here. So maybe we can take Anubji's. Okay. So I'll look it up. If I can find a better answer for you, I'll I'll give it to you next time. So please keep on reading. You can read the next two. Oh, Vasu has a comment on that. All right. We'll we'll uh, uh. Yes. Aji, I was wondering whether uh, the Prayadarshanaha being used twice is because Sadeva has to do with all times. All times, yes. And Soma is in the quality of his uh, looks, in the essence is... Yeah, it could be. Maybe it's e pleasing e at e all e times. E even though moon is not, a, only full moon is more desirable than... That could be. So maybe that is his, his pleasing at all times, and here he's pleasing like the moon. So like how, the moon. So his one is how is he pleasing at all times? How is he pleasing? And that one is his pleasing when at all times. Could be. Yeah. So, so we have to make some adjustments, you know, Ramayana. so Ramayana. So Ramayana is 24,000 shlokas, I'll tell you. And the, <laughs> the funny thing about Ramayana is that entire adhyas repeated. You have full adhyas being repeated almost. And you have full adhyas being being taken out, putting put in. So it comes, there's a repetition everywhere. Everywhere means a lot of places. The Ramayana story, within Ramayana comes like about six times, you know. So it is, so this is not that, you know, this is not like sutras, you know, we have to split everything. But yeah, you should always ask, you can find, you can find some reason. But this is not like Pani Sutram where every cha has you to break your head and every when, when Pani says cha, you have to break your head to what he's saying. Here it is, it is, you know, it is Kagam, so you can, you can take it. So, okay, 10 minutes over time, I stay back for questions, we'll do the Mangla Charanam. Ramo Raja Manish Sada Vijayate Ramam Ramesham Vijay Rame Naviyata Nishachara Chamu Ramayata Smaina Maha. Rama Nasti Parayanam Parataram Rama Shyada Sosmyaham Rame Chittale Stadavhutame Bho Rama Mamudhara Rama Rame Ti Rame Ti Rame Rame Mano Rame Sasa Nama Tuttalyam Rama Nama Varanane Sri Rama Nama Varanana On Namaiti Before I forget, next class, next class is second, always, always keep it second and fourth. So April 2nd, sorry, you know, 10th April, okay? So next class is April 10th. Same thing, we'll, we'll continue with Ramayana and we'll do the Subandha Prakriya. I mean, we'll do like Rama Shabda next week in the Vyakaranam class. April 10th. April 10th, same time. We'll send you the links. Uh, any questions? I'll stay back. Kartik has a question. Okay. Uh, yes, Kartik. Uh, I just had a doubt about this word Kausalya. Yes. Like uh, the, the Sakara, uh, why doesn't it take a more than the other? Is it because it is not a Pratya Adesha or is there some other exactly, that's, that's, that's exactly the reason why. Like, like a word like, you know, Dhu Saraha, Musalam. Okay. So these are all, this is, it has to be either a Pratya Avayava, but this okay. is not. Or it should okay. be an Adesha. So okay. it, is, it is neither one of them. So if it's if you not, then exactly that's, the, that's the answer to that. Okay. But okay. There, is, there is, I think, a Talavya variation of this. Koshala and Koshala, there could be there could be a Talavya, but it's not that's not because of Sandhi rules. Okay. Think that might be just the, the name is called Koshala and Koshala, the variation of the okay. same one. Okay. But 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 not Murdhanya, not Murdhanya. Okay, thanks. Um, okay, any other questions? Uh, good. So Kailashji, we are done. We can uh, uh, stop the recording. I